Hello, this is uh, Jason Blake, aka Supersonic, here for another, here for another, showing another tutorial. This time is going to be with Unity. Um, this tutorial will show how to set up a mouse controlled ca camera for a third person object, so to speak, like in many action games, such as Dynasty Warriors, Gears of War, pretty much any third person kind of style things. So, go into Unity, and this guy means business, so let's not keep him waiting. Let's see, start a new scene. <coughs> Don't save. Alright, um, let's go ahead and create a terrain real quick. This is way too big. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can see this, but my mouse is flickering like crazy, and I think it's possibly the recording software I'm using. <clears throat> there we are. Alright, now it's actually kind of simple but a little bit deceptively so. Uh, essentially what we're going to go ahead and do is we have the terrain and the main camera so we're going to go ahead and uh, add a third person controller. Go ahead and drag that into the scene. And so, <clears throat> there we are, let's actually, let's not change the name of it, let's go ahead and focus in on them, pick them up a little bit, just moving them a little bit more inland so that way when we start off he doesn't immediately plummet to his doom. Alright, so... <clears throat> When we play, as you can see, if I'm using the WASD keys, I can go ahead and walk them around. I can hold down shift to sprint, hold down uh, hit spacebar to jump. All these things are prefabricated with this controller, including him being Bob the Builder's third cousin removed. But <clears throat> as you can see, me moving my mouse around does nothing to this uh, to the scene, like. I'm walking around, but the mouse doesn't affect it in any way. What we can do is one fix this camera a little bit. There we are. We can add. We can make it to where the camera will actually follow on to the to the character. Now, what we need to do is uh, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, I would think the easiest way, other than just looking it up, is make sure you have main camera selected first because. Uh, Actually, this is something we have to add to the main camera and not actually a third person controller. This is something that tripped me up for a good while. If you go to component and go all the way down to the bottom where it says camera control, then there's mouse look and mouse orbit. Mouse look is for more first person things, so we want mouse orbit. And that will add that to the main camera. Now, also, we should have that it <clears throat> also brings up the other camera scripts. So, mouse orbit, along with that, comes smooth follow and smooth look at. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add those as well because, as the name kind of denounces, it just makes everything a little bit smoother. Whoops, that was the wrong way to do that. Click and just drag, okay. Or not. Cool. This recording program is making everything flip out. There we are. Alright, so now we have smooth look at, smooth follow, and mouse orbit. <clears throat> now, uh, these are all attached to the main camera, which is this, which, you know, you can change this field of view perspective and whatnot. When we actually go to the third person controller, even though I have the, <clears throat> the actual asset over here, the main camera will instantly lock on to this target. So even though the main camera is over there, the third person controller, it's still using the same camera, it just knows to follow this. And that's part of what was messing me up earlier, was because I was thinking that because this main camera was off to the side, that wasn't really doing much of anything to the actual scene. So, <clears throat> one thing we will need to do though is the main camera for the mouse orbit, we need something to orbit around, which would be 
the cousin of Bob, the that joke is old, I'm not even gonna say it anymore. So what we need to do is we need to take the third person controller, left click and drag, and just put it into the target slot. There. Do the same with the smooth follow and the same with smooth look at. Now, if we now go and hit play, <clears throat> well, first the camera's gonna spaz out like crazy, but as you can see, I'm actually now controlling the camera with the mouse. Now, for most for most uh, third-person games, you really don't need to have too much of a y-axis so what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and turned my y speed to zero and this keeps it from actually moving around so when you go back into play as you can see it it's still jumpy but we'll fix that in a second but I'm not actually moving it up and down really so now from there Let's go ahead and set the Y max limit to something like 10, Y min limit to, let's say at negative 20, why not? Because we just, we don't need the camera that high in the air. So, try it out again. Okay, so as you can see, it's at a much reasonable, more, much more reasonable height, but we still have the jumpy that's going around, or around so not exactly too helpful for the smooth follow but what I then did actually was <clears throat> excuse me looking at some of this stuff I was just kind of messing with some of the um, some of the variables and you can actually do this while in the, the play fi function you can actually turn off things and turn things back on um, this is a weird little interesting thing that I s saw happen was when you turn it off and turn back on mouse orbit it zooms out really far but as you can see it's now no longer super shaky but it's also zoomed out pretty far so I'm guessing that it has something to do with the field of vision and the camera not wanting to clip through the floor so what I did just as a quick fix for this tutorial was um, I put the I'm gonna put the distance to 5 and let's check that out not nearly as jumpy um it still has a little bit of it but as you can see that so let's go ahead and see what happens if we set that to five as well um also let's set the height to two if that's terrible we can always just come back and change it eh not really much of a help so height will be back at 5 sometimes it's not helpful to actually stay in and change stuff around because as you saw earlier sometimes things can just change for no rhyme or reason whereas I take off mouse orbit and then put it back on and now it's zoomed out but now it's smooth and so that's not really a true depiction of the problem actually being fixed so coming back out here, let's see X speed. Y limit. Mm hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's make that 15. Make that negative 10. Height dampening. Let's see. I'm just going to shorten the field of view a little bit, see if that helps at all. Oh, definitely feels closer. Let's see. Go back out here, switch that back to 10. I'm not going to lie, believe me, I actually had this fixed prior to this tutorial, but it's something that you can always go ahead and mess with on your own is just the hard the true hard part for me was actually finding out how to get the camera to stick to the target which was the main reason why I wanted to go ahead and make this tutorial 
So we look at their person, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it might just need a little bit more playing around with, which I'm not gonna absorb too, too much time with this tutorial on. But as you, as you can see, the basic is that I can move around and then also when I move the camera, as you can see my mouse is still on the screen, but as I move around, it still follows that. Uh, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to do that just to smooth things out. So yeah, so you can see that. And at the same time, if I hold D, and let's say I'm running sideways, I can still actually use the mouse to turn. So it's good for, you know, strafing around things. I know I don't really have too much in the form of scenery to go ahead and compare it to, but as you can see, kind of the edges will kind of tell the tale. But there you are. Um, hopefully, I am now going to go back and uh, figure out what I did wrong, and hopefully if this helped you in any way, you can in turn figure out what went wrong and then tell me, because uh, that's what we're here for, to help each other, right? <laughs> Alright, well, I hope this was mildly helpful, and I hope you enjoy it. Alright, catch you later.